In this video, I will show you how to register for the Prisma Data Portal to be able to access freely available hyperspectral remote sensing data. Prisma is a medium resolution hyperspectral imaging mission of the Italian Space Agency, or ASI. The electro optical instrumentation combines a hyperspectral sensor working in the spectral range 0.4 to 2.5 microns and a panchromatic camera working in the spectral range 0.4 to 0.7 microns. The average spectral resolution is less than 10 nanometers on the entire spectral range, allowing the generation of more than 200 spectral bands. The ground sampling distance for the hyperspectral sensor is 30 meters, while for the panchromatic camera, 5 meters. A Prisma data scene covers an area of 30 by 30 kilometers. First, Open your preferred web browser and type https colon double backslash prisma.asi.it. The sign-in page opens. As you don't have an account yet, you need to register. Therefore, click on register now. A user request form now opens where you have to click to download the terms, conditions, and user data PDF file that you need to fill out. Very important here, do not try to manipulate the file in the web browser but rather save the file locally to your machine. You can easily do that by right-clicking and clicking Save To. Use Adobe Reader to open the file and to start editing the document. The file contains the general conditions for the provision of products, license, but also the project form to be compiled by you, the user, in order to get an account. The document is structured in different chapters. The most important information for you is Article 4, permitted uses, and Article 5, what you are not allowed to do. Good news, you can do almost everything with the products, but redistribution to third parties or commercial use is strictly prohibited, as well as altering the copyright notice. You then need to proceed to Chapter 6 to compile the project form. The first information asked is the categorization of the user. You can register yourself as a single user or as a group of a maximum of 16 people. For both cases, you need to select the user category. The user categories are listed here in Table 6.1 on page 12. For instance, ASI users, or Italian Space Agency employees, national in the description always refers to Italian, while non-national means non-Italian, therefore foreign. For example, the German Aerospace Center, the DLR, falls into the non-national science category, while an Italian university falls into the national science category. Try to avoid self-assigning as a generic user. Generic user is for people whose profile does not fit into other categories, but also then holds the lowest privileges. Then proceed to page 14 and enter the project title and the duration of the project in digits followed by the area of interest. Here at least one is sufficient. Now it is time to give a comprehensive description of your project with a minimum of 150 words. When this is done, the application fields must now be specified. Several selections can be made. And last but not least, you need to select the appropriate user category as explained earlier. Now we are entering the main user section, which is mandatory. If you are presenting a group, then the following optional sections for affiliate users of up to 10 people and the contractor's consultant section of up to five people can be filled out. A total of 16 people can therefore form a group. General information such as your name and surname, your address, your affiliation, and an email contact are requested. Mandatory fields are marked with a star. If the data entry was successful, the edited PDF must now be saved so that it can be uploaded. For this purpose, it is very important that a naming convention must be observed which is also described on page 13. The file name contains at the first position the surname and then your name separated by an underscore. Back to the user request form in your web browser, you navigate to the blue Browse button and upload the file you've just saved. Further, you must declare that you have read, understood, and accepted the license and that all data given is valid. If you are interested in receiving advertisements and promotional communications related to Prisma services and products, you can check the tick box at the bottom of the page. If you are interested in Prisma privacy policy regulations, you can access the information here by downloading that document. Finally, the Send Request submits your registration. 
successful upload is indicated in a green highlighted box on the top of the web page. After one or two days, you will receive several emails holding your Prisma user account credentials, like username and password. Using the credentials, you can now log in and access the Prisma data portal. This completes the registration phase. Now you're good to go.